the map of Iran. Put your finger right in the middle of it, where the deserts are. Look carefully. What you see is the name of a very small city called Anorak. A two-hour drive from Isfahan brings you to Anorak, a small town with old homes made of adobe and a climate typical of the desert. You can see the, the buildings are made out of the earth and so it's really like um, the city is quite integrated into the landscape and that's what something, something that we really liked about it. It's very special as a city. Coming from Europe, we don't, we don't see that kind of city. Uh, it's all, all small alley, all with, uh, with mud, very special construction. There is some uh, nice castle as well, some, some old town. It's in the middle of the mountains. So it's very good, very good impression. Climbing one of the several hills surrounding the region is all it takes for you to catch a glimpse of this small town. The most important historical monuments in Anorak are four watchtowers on top of four hills surrounding the city. Settlement in this region dates back to the Sassanid era, but the city of Anorak as we know it today was built by a man called Muhammad Pahlavan back in the 16th century. Today, the city is surrounded by the ruins of an old wall and four watchtowers that were built to keep bandits out. Now, you always hear about Iran being a country with an ancient civilization. Here is some hard evidence. Only a 45-minute drive from the city of Anorak takes you to one of the oldest mines in Iran, Nakhlak Mine. As you've probably noticed, there is little agriculture in this region. However, there are many mines located near Anorak. Nakhlak, a lead mine, is the largest active mine near the town, which produces nearly 6,000 tons of lead per year. With its intertwined network of tunnels, the mine itself has a history of over 2,000 years. This makes it one of the oldest underground mines in Iran. It is also the reason why it will soon be turned into Iran's first mining museum. Something I found particularly interesting about the city of Anorak is its Museum of Anthropology. This museum was established by the people of the city and all the items that you see here are items that have been donated by those who have been living here for centuries. چیزایی که خاص تو این موزه در واقع میشه ابزارهای معدنیش رو مثال زد حالا شاید ابزارهای دیگه تو کل ایران باشه ولی ابزارهای معدنی که اینجا هستش این موزه را شاخص ترش میکنه The people of Anorak are very proud of their culture and they are adamant to preserve it This can be seen in every corner of this humble anthropology museum Iran caravansarais of the cities are one of the places that you usually visit if you're into historical monuments. In Anorak, though, whether you are this kind of person or not, you will come to the caravansarai because it has been converted into a bed and breakfast. شهر آنارک در زبان قدیم به نار و سینه معروف بود. نار و سینه در واقع از آنار و سینه کوه. The people who live here also speak their own special dialect called Anoraki. So if you ever happen to come here, you will have the unique opportunity to get to know more about Iran's ancient civilization. Gisumi Shahmadi for Iran.